Amazing morning, everyone! Welcome to the third episode of our Amazing Products Knowledge video series. If it's your first time on my channel, welcome! I am Elise, and I'm one of the mentors here in I Am Worldwide. I'm a certified health, nutrition, and wellness coach, and today we will talk about the nutrients of our amazing barley. But before you proceed, if you haven't watched the episodes 1 and 2, please check them in the description box below. I'll put the link there and I suggest that you first go there and come back to this video so it's clear to you who I, who I am, why we're having this series, and what are the topics that you can expect in the future videos. And of course, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and make sure you're notified whenever I upload a new video so you can share about our products with confidence to your family and to your new team members. Okay, now let's answer this question. What are the nutrients present in barley? Assuming that you've already watched our episode two, you now know what barley is. And if you remember, I mentioned in that video that barley grass has its peak nutritional value when it is harvested at a young age and about less than a foot tall. That's why we call our barley young barley. Now, let's get into a little bit of details what those nutrients are. In a nutshell, as you have heard from our business presentations, barley grass has 68 micronutrients. Not limited to 68, but it is to say that that is the known nutrients in barley. There could be more. However, do we really know what micronutrients mean? <laughs> I thought so. So continue watching so you'll understand what is the significance of those micronutrients. Moving on. In order for the body to function properly, it needs two types of nutrients, macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are needed by the body in large amounts, and they are what we know as carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Through our digestive process, these macronutrients get broken down into basic building blocks of amino acids, fatty acids, and monosaccharides, or simple sugars. The other nutrient is called the micronutrients. Micronutrients, even though are needed in pretty small amounts in the human body, they are amazingly important because with them, our human bodies are able to produce enzymes, hormones, and other substances that are essential for our proper development and growth. When we do not get these micronutrients, the consequences on our health are very severe. These micronutrients are what we call as vitamins and minerals. Vitamins are organic, non-caloric micronutrients essential for normal physiological functions. Most vitamins are not produced by our bodies and therefore, we must eat them in our diets. Humans need 13 different vitamins in order to function properly. These 13 vitamins are divided into two groups water soluble like vitamin c and vitamin b and fat soluble like vitamins a d e and k i will do a separate video to discuss what each of the vitamins do but it is important to note that our amazing barley is a multi-nutrient rich superfood loaded with vitamins such as vitamin a b1 b2 b3 or niacin vitamin b6 folate vitamin c vitamin e vitamin k but you also have to take note that barley does not have vitamin d so that means we have to compensate by about 15 minute exposure to sunlight every day okay 
So that's where you get your vitamin D. Let's now proceed to minerals. Minerals play a huge range of roles in the human body and they are critical for human life. They can do functions as maintaining acid-base balance, helping with growth and strength, or regulating enzymes. Unlike vitamins, most minerals are found in the human body as well as in food. So in other words, we can find them in the foods that we eat. We can even produce many of them in our body. But if the body is imbalanced and unhealthy, we either produce too little or too much of the minerals. And that creates the problem. In order to address the problem of the body creating not enough minerals, we need to be able to get them from foods and as they are available in different foods, we need to make sure that we can absorb them properly. Unlike vitamins, we have to be careful when we take mineral supplements because they may have interactions with one another. For example, too much calcium diminishes the absorption of zinc, iron, and manganese. And in the same time, if we take iron supplements, we may not be able to absorb zinc properly. Barley grass contains an abundance of electrolytes such as magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, along with other essential minerals such as zinc, iron, calcium. But I will discuss the significance of those minerals in a separate video as well. But you have to remember that barley doesn't only contain the vitamins and minerals that our body needs. It also is a rich provider of powerful antioxidants and essential amino acids and beneficial enzymes. Barley grass supplies the needed fiber to the body and does not offer any harmful cholesterol. There is so much goodness in a sachet of our amazing pure organic barley powder. And if you haven't tried it yet, now is a good time to do so. Message me or whoever sent you this video so you too can begin to experience a better you in terms of your health and nutrition. That's it for this episode. I hope you learned something. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out when I upload a new video. Okay? Bye!